Now at noon, fighting for freedom. Thousands of Cubans took to the streets in Havana, protesting their government amid frustration over the coronavirus pandemic. And in South Florida, support hundreds in Little Havana rallied with the Cuban people. The protests in Cuba are historic, the biggest anti-government demonstrations on the communist island in decades. Yeah, and lawmakers here in South Florida are in solidarity with the Cuban people. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is in Little Havana with more on the South Florida support. We are living key moments in the history of Cuba right now. A national uprising is taking place against communist tyranny in Cuba. The fight for freedom in Cuba echoed in Miami. Members of the Assembly of the Cuban Resistance on Monday called out decades of communism on the island. We are asking for the international community led by the United States to intervene, to protect the Cuban people from a bloodbath, and to bring this regime to an end. The Cuban people are not on the streets asking for medicine. They're not in the streets asking for food. They're on the streets demanding freedom. Over the weekend, an unprecedented sight. This video is from Havana, as thousands of Cubans marched in the streets on Sunday, saying they're no longer scared and chanting for freedom. Several people were arrested, and throughout the afternoon, Cuban authorities shut down internet service on the island. Libertad, 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 that is what we're hearing. That is what the people want, and we can't betray so many thousands of Cubans with so much courage making that call for change. On Sunday, hundreds in Miami joined in the protest. This was Calle Ocho in front of Versailles, the street blocked by people chanting libertad or freedom. Many in the crowd, people who themselves fled communist Cuba. The lack of uh, food, they are under hunger, they are suffering so much, uh, and they're tired. Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 News.